हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू एस क्लास टेक आउट चैप्टर नंबर थ्री द नॉर्दर्न प्लेन्स सो स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट क्लास वी डिड लोकेशन एंड लैंड ऑफ द नॉर्दर्न प्लेन्स एंड हेयर आर सम क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग दैट सो स्टूडेंट्स आर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वेयर आर द नॉर्दर्न प्लेन्स फाउंड इन इंडिया सेकेंड हाउ आर द नॉर्दर्न प्लेन्स ऑफ इंडिया फाउंड थर्ड Name two types of plains in India. Fourth, name the three main rivers that flow through northern plains. Students, today we will do the Satluj Basin and the Ganga Basin, and here are the terms related to today's topic. So our first term is canal, which means man-made channel from which the river water is brought to the dry areas. Second, Gangotri, the glacier from where a river Ganga originates. Third, Yamunotri, the glacier from where a river Yamuna originates. Students, first of all, let us know what is basin. A river basin is the portion of land drained by a river and its tributaries. River basins have fertile soil and water resources. due to this only great deal of food and agricultural products are being produced here here first we will talk about the satluj basin satluj river originates in tibet in china and it flows in three countries that is china india and pakistan there are several major hydroelectric projects on the satluj river like bhakra dam nathpa jakri dam etc and the main tributary of river satluj is bias students take out page number 18 let's start reading from book the satluj basin the satluj basin lies in the western part of the northern plains river satluj and its tributary bias flow in this part both bias and satluj join indus in pakistan and finally drain into the Arabian Sea Students these lines mean that Satluj basin is located in west side of the northern plains and Satluj river and its tributary Bias flow in west part of northern plains and Bias river and Satluj river join Indus in Pakistan and then they finally drain into the Arabian Sea Let's move forward come on the fifth line two important states of this basin are punjab and haryana the union territory of chandigarh also falls in this basin so students punjab and haryana are two important states of this basin and chandigarh which is a union territory and capital of haryana and punjab is also located in the satluj basin come on the next paragraph this part does not get sufficient rain therefore wells tube wells and canals are used for irrigation the bakhra nangal dam built across the river satluj provides water for irrigation and for generating electricity the indira gandhi canal built across the river satluj provides water for many dry areas in rajasthan so underline irrigation and write watering the crops and underline generating and write making there so students this paragraph means that the satluj basin does not get enough rainfall and that is why wells tube wells and canals are used for irrigation students bakhra nangal dam is built across the river satluj and it provides water for irrigation and for generating electricity same like bakhra nangal dam indira gandhi canal is built from the river satluj and it provides water for many dry areas in rajasthan let's move to the ganga basin now students river ganga originates from the gangotri glacier of uttarakhand ganga river flows through india and bangladesh and ganga river empty itself in the bay of bengal unlike the satluj river which empty itself in the arabian sea 
and it is a sacred river and worshipped as the goddess Ganga in Hinduism. Let's start reading from book The Ganga Basin. The Ganga Basin is the largest part of the northern plains. This plain is also called Gangetic Plain. The states of Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal and the Union Territory of Delhi lie in the Ganga Basin. So students these lines mean that Ganga Basin covers the largest part of the northern plains and the other name of this plain is Gangetic Plain. Students, the states like Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal and the Union Territory, Delhi lie in Ganga Basin. Let's move forward. Come on the fifth line now. The rivers Ganga, Yamuna and their tributaries flow through this part. The Ganga rises in the Himalayas in the glacier known as Gangotri. The Yamuna rises in a nearby glacier called Yamunotri. And circle Gangotri and Yamunotri as these are our terms. So students, these lines mean that Yamuna is the main tributary of Ganga river and the river Ganga, Yamuna and the tributaries flow in Ganga basin. As we already discussed, Ganga rises in the Himalayas in the glacier known as Gangotri. Glacier means moving sheet of ice. And Yamuna rises in the Yamunotri glacier. Come on the last third line. Yamuna joins Ganga near Allahabad. This place is called Sangam. Ganga enters the northern plains at Haridwar, Bhagirathi, Mandakini, Alaknanda are its tributaries. So students, these lines mean that the place where Ganga and Yamuna meets is called Sangam. Right? Wherever the two rivers meet is called Sangam. Here, the river Ganga and Yamuna are meeting at Allahabad and Allahabad is located in Uttar Pradesh. Right? And Ganga enters the northern plains at Haridwar and rivers like Bhagirathi, Mandakini, Alaknanda are the left bank tributaries of river Ganga which means they join river Ganga from left side. Come on the next paragraph. The tributaries of Ganga, Gomti, Ghagra, Gandak and Kosi join it from the north. These rivers are formed in the Himalayas and have water all through the year. The Chambal, Betwa, Kane, Son and the Modar join Ganga from the south. These rivers rise in the hills of central India. Students, this paragraph means that the rivers like Gomti, Ghagra, Gandak, Kosi and the tributaries of Ganga join Ganga from the north. And these rivers are formed in the Himalayas and are perennial rivers means they have water throughout the year. And students, the river like Chambal, Betwa, Kane, Sun and the Modar join Ganga from the south. And these rivers originate in the hills of central India. Come on the next paragraph. The Ganga flows through Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and West Bengal. As it enters West Bengal, it divides itself into two streams. One part is called Hugli, which flows into the West Bengal. The other part is called Padma. It flows into Bangladesh. Come on the next page. Both the Ganga and the Brahmaputra join in Bangladesh before entering the Bay of Bengal. Here they form the world's largest delta called the Sundarban. So here underline streams and the meaning of streams is narrow rivers. Means shorty rivers and underline delta and the meaning of delta is a triangular area where a major river 
like Ganga, divides into several smaller parts and flow into a large body of water like Bay of Bengal. Students, this paragraph means that river Ganga flows through Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and West Bengal. While entering West Bengal, Ganga river divides itself into two rivers. One part is called Hugli and it flows into West Bengal and the other part is called Padma and it flows into Bangladesh. And students, before emptying themselves into the Bay of Bengal, the rivers like Brahmaputra and Ganga join in Bangladesh. And this is a place where they form the world's largest delta which is called Sundarban and I have told you earlier that what is delta. Students, we have completed today's topic and today we did the Satlaj Basin and the Ganga Basin and I hope both the basins are very much clear to you. So students, now your homework is to revise terms and write them on copy and do exercise A on book and do hots on copy. Thank you.